Almighty. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to this magical presentation of the first Sunday of Advent. Thanks to everyone who made this all happen. And I know you'll enjoy it, and as well as our virtual audience will enjoy this. Welcome to the United Church of Clinton, both live and virtually. We welcome to you to this first Sunday of Advent. There's a few announcements that we'll go through pretty quickly. The flowers this morning are in memory of Bill given by Alana. So thank you, Alana. You're welcome. Tuesday, there will be a worship committee meeting at 6.30. We're going to do the fun thing of picking out music for the Advent season. So if you have a special song, you might want to give me or Gloria your recommendation, your reference, your uh, request. Thursday morning, we will have our virtual coffee at 11 o'clock. Next Sunday, we have a high school troop of Girl Scouts that will be meeting next Sunday from 4 to 6. We welcome them back to our hall. I am very pleased to see the hall used again, as I know you are. Thanks to Laura for providing music for us this morning. I am calling a special church-wide meeting for Sunday, December 12th for all members for the purpose of attending to a United Methodist business matter. I promise you it will probably be a very, very, very short meeting. So please plan on attending and we'll take care of some quick business. And our spare change jars are up on the side here. You can give to very many different organizations and goodwill efforts. The community cafe is ongoing and we like support for our once a month meal. You may give in the bins. There's a little section of the bins that goes specifically for that cause. Winter togs, take a look. When you leave today, it's full. Yay. It is full. And that's the third one. And that's one. a good thing. That's the third one. The third shipment. So thank you to everyone for contributing and giving. Don't forget you can give online if you forgot to bring your offering today. Anybody recognize this? Bailey. It's Bailey's. <laughs> yay, yay. Surely. So quickly, um, the Giving Tree still has a few gifts on it. Uh, Sunday we covered what Sunday School is doing. Uh, it's in Dresden this week. Um, and as well as stewardship, we are collecting diapers for a diaper drive. So um, everything, the diapers will go a little longer, but the Giving Tree gifts are due uh, next Sunday like that. Any other questions? You can ask each other then. He Heather, do you want to say that into a microphone? It's, otherwise people watching visually ca ca can't really hear. Is that okay? You want to come up Oops. here? Or you can come here. <laughs> Good morning. The giving tree that the Sunday school is doing is over to the side altar. There's a few gifts left on it. Um, we, those will be brought to wheat. We are looking to have all gifts returned by the 5th with the original tag so they go to the proper child. If you have any questions, you can ask myself or Shelley. Thank you. And I'll just add in the diaper collection. Yeah, um, you'll see now large boxes of diapers. This is in conjunction with a program uh, from the Good Shepherd and the people there, the good people there, um, they gather and they've been doing this for some time every, and they, do dis they, dis they distribute diapers. Uh, you do not have to buy the most expensive Pampers. Market, you know, the regular brand ones are fine. The desirable sizes are four and five and to a lesser degree, three. So it's four, five, and three. And that's through the month, that's through Advent. Are there any other announcements? Seeing none, 
Let us center our thoughts on worship with the ringing of the bell and the time for centering. Let us now join together in this morning's call to worship. I invite you, if you are comfortable to stand or if you are more comfortable to remain seated, please be comfortable. And you will see as we progress through our worship service this morning that there is a theme and it is on Marilyn, Pastor Marilyn's um, message to us, which is sign of things to come. So, call to worship. Emmanuel. God with us, incarnate one, embodied one, at table one, loving one, hand in the wounds one, signs in the moon one, hear our plea, come, be here now. Our first song this morning is <clears throat> from the Advent section of our hymnal, and it is People Look East, which is number 142, and we will be singing verses 1 and 4, and first Laura will play it for us so we remember the melody. Thank you, Laura. now join together in the prayer of the day. Amazing God, help us to find that place where we can receive as well as give, wait as well as act, and listen as well as speak. Our whole world needs your hope. Let us come before you and learn your ways. Come to us now through Jesus Christ Amen. And now let us pass the peace of Christ with one another, just remembering to not get into huggable distance. Um, Laura will play it once through, peace be with you, and then we will sing it once through, followed immediately by the Gloria Patri. Thank you, Laura. Peace 
Today's our first uh, Advent, and today is for hope. When the world seems scary, when we try to escape and hide, the, and hide, the holy invites us to comfort fear that we may find hope. The candle of hope. So I ask this question, and I hope some of you will be brave enough to respond. Where in the world do we find hope these days? Think about it for a minute. Where do you find hope in this world today? In our church. In our church. In young children. In young children. There's a good one. <laughs> With our friends. With our friends. Kindness, of people out. Kindness of people reaching out. Any others? That is what hope is all about and much, much more, right? <clears throat> Let's hang on to it. During the weeks of Advent, we will be singing each week a different verse of the Advent song. Um, it is to a familiar tune, so Laura will play the tune once for us, and then we will join in the first verse of the first Sunday of Advent, O Come and Be the Hope in All Our Lives. Just one little typo on the third line, as printed in the bulletin. The line should read, we know the path of hate too well, not hat. <laughs> All right, so thank you, Laura.
And now it is time for our first scripture reading, which this morning is taken from the book of Luke. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Sorry, from the book of Jeremiah, um, chapter 33, verses 14 to 16. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. Here is the promise. In those days and at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called. The Lord, our righteous saviour. And that brings us to the end of the first reading this morning. Let us now join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please join with me in the prayer of confession. O God of wholeness, let us not be put to shame. Some of us live with shame every day in our bodies, in our hearts, in our self-images, self-esteem, and self-regard. Have mercy. You instruct both sinners and the upright in your ways, Sovereign One. Teach us that some of us may be free, and some of us may learn to be free of fault. Amen. Amen. The God of unlimited compassion will strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless and whole before our God and parent at the coming of our brother Jesus with all the saints. A message for all God's children today. Today we begin Advent something perhaps you wait for the entire year for, I don't know. I wanted to show you something. How many of you have something like this at home? Yep, all the hands are going up. (laughs) Yep, all the hands are going up. When I was younger and my children were younger we had one of these except for it was different it had a santa face up top and for each of the pockets it had a christmas tree and the tree would go from day to day there's nothing with this one i was disappointed there um there's not anything that goes inside the pocket so i'm gonna have to make it up So maybe I'll put a piece of candy in. I mean, if I had children around, that would be great. Put a piece of candy in each pocket and each day of the December month. You take out a piece of candy and eat it up. I could use a candy cane and hop it from place to place. You can think of other things I could use, I'm sure. (laughs) But we await, don't we? This is all about a time of watching and waiting and moving forward. And with each day, we look to hope, we look to strength, we look to Christ, who we are told came as a babe long ago in the city of Bethlehem. And we will recount the story each week in church as we get closer to the time. And then we would invite you on Christmas Eve to gather with us at 5.30 to celebrate the birth of Christ. (coughs) 
Um, I invite you to remain seated. The next song, Lead Me, Lord, is a sung prayer. And as you see in your bulletins, it will be immediately followed by a moment of prayer requests. So Laura will play Lead Me, Lord, once through, and then we will pray it vocally. Thank you, Laura. Let us at this time bring our prayer concerns to God. Please feel free to share them at this time. I would ask for prayer concerns for anyone who is going to go through Advent and Christmas for the first time without people that they have loved and loved and loved. I'd like prayers for my friend, Betsy Bradley. Um, She's been diagnosed with a very rare and unfortunate, not a very good prognosis of cancer. Um, Her husband has also had some mental challenges and she really needs our prayers. Linda. Prayers for Gavin as he prepares for surgery and his family as well, an infant. Any other prayer concerns? Prayers for Jean. Yes, Jan. Prayers for TJ after an automobile accident. Any other prayer concerns? We need to pray for Jan. She had a little tumble over the holiday, and she, um, I was so happy to see you in church. I've been praying for you every minute I think of you. <laughs> Poor Jan took a fall. Let's be in prayer for her.
Any other prayer concerns? Yes. People of the country and nation to find their way back to God. And away from violence. Any others? Let us go to God in prayer. Gracious and Holy One, as we reflect and give thanks this week, we praise and thank you for the great encouragement, strength, and the many lessons that we receive through your word. Guide us through your word that we might grow in your grace and to live so we might reflect your love to each other and thus to you. Be with us as we enter Advent. Let hope ripple through our lives like the ocean waves bathe across the beach sand. Be with those who have experienced loss. Be with those who struggle with issues of various kinds. Be with our, be our strength and let us lean upon you when we feel weary Center our thoughts on you. Strengthen us that we will hold fast to your word and ways as we await the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be with those this Advent season who will go through this season without loved ones. Be with Betsy, Gavin, Jean, TJ, Jan, the people of our country and nation, and be with all those concerns that have not been spoken but are known only by you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. A scripture reading from the 21st chapter of Luke. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehension of what is coming in the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. He told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the anxieties of life, and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth, be always on the watch. 
and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. So for your moment of holy humor this morning, a man sent his friend a cryptic Christmas card. Pay attention. <laughs> it said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The recipient puzzled over it for weeks, finally gave up and wrote asking for an exclamation or an explanation. In July, in July, he received the explanation on a postcard. Those of you who are paying attention can tell me, no L. No L. <laughs> there you go. Let us pray. O oh God, now let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our strength, rock, and redeemer. Amen. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. That is heavy stuff. But that's how our passage starts out, and it goes on from there. More turbulence. In this day and age, we see enough of our own turbulence, destructive weather patterns that take away homes, life, and in general, disrupt lives. Our nation experiences types of violence every day. We've got what seems to be an endless time of pandemic. There is discord in nation against nation, discord within our own nation. The list goes on. Such was the way of it that the Gospel of Luke describes. Things looked dire. The world Luke describes is one of an apocalyptic nature. Yet the passage ends this way. Be always on the watch. Look for the sign of things to come. Always be waiting for what is to come. During the season of Advent, in the midst of what possibly we look to dire situations. During Advent, we lift up light. The sign of things to come for us at this time is remembering the birth of our Savior Jesus. We remember his beginnings with a story we have been told to all of our years. It was a humble beginning except for the powerful signs of light from that bright star in the sky. Jesus' life begins in a stable. How humble is that and how profound? During the Advent season, which begins today, we look forward to the birth of this special child who will become central in our lives. And we look to the light that not only that star provided, but to the inner light that the presence of our Lord provides, a sign of things to come. What sign are you looking for this holiday season? Perhaps things look dark and you seek the light. Remember how this all ends for our Advent and Christmas season. After these next few 
days we come to that point when we light the individual lights on Christmas Eve, our individual candles, something that provides holy light. And we sing Silent Night in German and in English, retracing the roots of this church, this congregation, when only German was spoken within these walls. Light was brought into the sanctuary back then, and it is still to this day a sign of things to come. How does that sensation feel to you when we get to that segment of the service Christmas Eve? Like a little bit of hope descends on you and reminds you that there are much more important things that lie ahead than being discouraged and overwhelmed. We experience a bit of God's kingdom right here on earth, a place of light and hope. May it be so for you and for me. Amen. The invitation to the offering. The earth distresses, nations are confused. The power structures we've grown accustomed to are being shaken, and we will not be shaken. We will look up and be the children of the God of mercy. Let us give of what we have accordingly. Again, you can give by leaving your offerings in the bins, or those of you watching online may go to our website and give online that way. Please join with me in the dedication prayer. For all good things, we give you thanks and return a portion for your work in the world. Bless these gifts and us as we move forward into our week. Amen. And now let us join together singing, Come, O Long Expected Jesus. Again, Laura will play it once through and then we will sing the two verses. Thank you, Laura.
benediction i'd like you to know that thanks to the girl scouts tree lighting ceremony there are donuts in the hall you are invited since we're not having coffee hour today you're invited to take some home please take a lot with you (laughs) so emmanuel god with us incarnate one embodied one Send us forth with confidence to seek God where we dwell in the signs, in the moon, and the sun, and the stars, in the turbulence of our lives, and in the unexpected hope. Mm-hmm. 